Hey guys, it's Aaron. I want to take a look at using sections, sections plural, multiple sections inside of a single model and how to do it using the outliner. So um, this was kind of an idea that I had about how to make some unique details of a section of a model. And uh, I found a couple tips using Outliner to make it a lot easier to work with multiple sections. So let's hop in and take a look. Okay, so I have this building. This building is modeled inside and out. That is to say, not, not everything is, is perfect. It's not done. There's no furniture or people or anything. But the walls are in, trims in. Uh, external doors and windows are in so uh, it's a good uh, fairly finished model to go cut sections out of um, let's hop in and see how to go about that so one of the things I want to look at I want to keep outliner open this entire time so I want to show that everything is in one big component so if I look at this uh, all the stuff everything that makes up this building is inside of this component called yard so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting in a single section. So I'm gonna tools, section plane, and I'm gonna drop one on the green axis like this, section one, okay. And I'm gonna move it through the building till I get to the stairwell. So I'm slide, 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 okay, there we go. So we're cutting into the stairwell right now. Perfect. Now, what I thought would make a good section was to bring another plane from the other side to cut the other set of stairs so I could see both sides of the stairs in one 3D section. So I went and grabbed tools, section plane, put it on the green axis on the other side. Go ahead and call it section two, that's fine. And then I'll move it in until it cuts the other side of the stairs. Awesome, cool, but here's where I start to run into a limitation because here I see both my sections here. And you can, obviously you can click and say, activate cut on these by right clicking on them i have found it to be much easier to use outliner to just double click on the section i want to see so you can see here just double clicking lets me flip between them rather than right clicking especially since if i get to this i get to this point where i'll have sections in front of sections where i feel like i'm clicking on section one but i'm actually getting section two it can get a little hairy there when you have a bunch of stuff Plus, one of the things I like to do is I don't like seeing my sections in my model. So one of the things you can actually do is you can turn your sections off and still activate them even though they're not visible, which I like a lot. I'm going to keep them on for this video just so you can see them. But when I'm actually working inside of a model, I don't like to have these big things floating around. Anything that's not there in real life, I don't want in my model. So I tend to turn these off but Outliner lets me still turn them on or to activate them even though they're turned off. Okay, so let's talk about how do we get both cuts active at the same time. We've had done other videos on this before, but uh, I wanna really use Outliner to do some of this stuff. So if I wanna do this, I can only have one active section plane per context. And this is when teachers repeat stuff because it's important to absorb one active section plane per context. That means I can only have one of these in a level, basically, of the outliner. So right here, both of these are on the outside. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to move one of them, specifically we'll, we'll take number one and we'll put it into the main uh, component here. So I'm gonna take section one, it's highlighted right now. I'm gonna say edit, I'm going to cut it, and now I'm gonna enter the context so i'm inside the component that everything is in and i say edit paste in place so there it goes it shows up and look it disappeared from outliner it didn't disappear actually it's inside of this component all the way at the bottom so here i could double click to turn it on and there i get my section cut so now i can actually see both sides of that stairwell at the same time all right let's take this a little further Let's say I want to cut it off right here too, so I don't have all this extra noise over here. I just want to zero in on the stairwell. Well, what I could do is I'm going to go ahead and collapse this back up and I'm going to draw another one. I'm going to go to tools, section plane, throw a section plane right here. There we go. Section plane three. Okay. 
And we'll take that section plane three then and move it in to right about there. So just get that. Now, section plane three came on the outside because I was out of context when I made it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this section plane three, I'm gonna hold down the modifier key to do multiple selection and select this group right here. So here's the yard, here's section plane three, and I'm going to say, put those two into another group. So I just created another level of hierarchy, but what that means is that I can now activate section plane one, two, and three all at the same time. So then what that results in is this basically, I don't know what you'd call this, a section vignette, a detail vignette, a, a house chunk. Um, but I can see all through my stairwell here without having to like move any walls or hide anything. Now, a couple things come up, obviously, like I said, here's, here's where I start to go, oh, I hate having all these things visible. So this is where I can come in here and I can actually toggle these off and still work with them. So they're still active right now and I can deactivate them with just a double click without having to see them or have them get in my way. The other thing you can do is these are, these all happen to be, you know, just stacking around top of each other, but this is where search comes in. Cause if I type section into search, it's going to hide everything in the outliner that is not named section. It will give me the hierarchy. So since this section one is nested in yard and this section three is nested in group, it's going to show me that, but the only actual entities that I can interact with here are my sections. So this is pretty quick and easy to create using Outliner just to kind of simplify the process of working with multiple sections. So I'm not sure if this specific section that I created uh, is something, this, this guy right here is exactly something you want to create, but uh, I have seen several models where people want to do, you know, knock off two sides to see into a building or something like that. So I know there's, there is demand out there for working multiple sections and it's really pretty easy. You just have to do a little bit of grouping, a little bit of nesting and uh, it happens. And it's so much easier using the outliner than to just navigate and try to pick stuff. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every week and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot. We'd like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.